In today's video, I will show you guys how I designed this funeral program cover in Corel Draw. If you have any question, please don't forget to drop me a comment in the comment section below. And without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Corel Draw, guys. So, um, basically, the size we'll be making is of this is um, A4 size. So, but I'll be laying my paper size on A3 to divide the page in two. So, to do this, basically, what you're going to do is come over to your page size and select A3. Then what you're going to do is convert your page dimension is um change it to sorry the page orientation and change that to landscape. Then right about that, what you're going to do is you're going to double click on this rectangle suit, uh bring it to this part. But the next thing you're going to do is convert this thumbnail and remove a black stroke. But before you remove that black stroke, bring this using this center node drag it to the center as you can see now um you, you're gonna flip this one to this so that you're gonna have your back page and the front page you can see i'm just using this color to differentiate between these pages all right so i'm gonna go back to the normal color which you have which is the plain white now right about that what i'm going to do is i'm going to um get my um margin my cutting margin all right where all informations will be in within so that nothing cuts uh, cut out of the design, all right? Do you understand? If you don't understand, please, that means you're not subscribed to this channel. All right, so basically, what I'm going to do is, I've taught you guys how to get the automatic and the manual, so I'm going to use the manual process so that you guys will understand. Now, I'm going to come to this rectangle too and um, draw a box this way, just um, a box. So I'm going to give it the red color so we can follow up. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the two. And I'm going to come to my property bar and select my drawing units. Make sure I change it to inches. Then I'm going to select this box. Then come over to your object size. All right. And you can, since um, basically from the design I got, the total page for this um, program is 116 pages. So I'm going to uh, take my measurement to 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 inches. So you can actually use 0, um, 0 0.8 to 0 0.7, any one that works for you. Then basically what I did was I selected this box and selected home and shift can select this box. And I'm going to press letter L to take it to the left, then letter T to take it to the top. T to top, L for right, all right? L for left. Then you're gonna come over to this place, drag your um your ruler, then bring the top one here, vertical and horizontal. Make sure it is aligned. Then I'm gonna select this, hold shift, select this box, press letter B, letter B on your keyboard, then drag another one to this port. Alright, if you don't understand, drop me a comment in the comment section below. Then I'm gonna select this one, hold shift, select the box, press or hold letter r to i'll um, take it to the right then bring another one here all right so the reason why i'm zooming out is to make sure this is actually um properly placed i want to bring another one to this to demarcate the middle all right so i'm going to select this one o shift select this box then press letter l to take it to... so basically to understand this is left for l for left r for right t for top b for bottom do you understand c for center so this is it um zoom out to make sure this is actually you can see there's a space here so make sure it's aligned properly then do the same thing to this part there's a automatic way to do this guys there are automatic ways to do this but i'm not going to go around that on this video so this is it this is where your design will be from this place to this place to this place so nothing goes out of this box I'm going to select everything and select my color thumbnail. Like I said, we're going to remove this black um, outline. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to import the stock images for this tutorial. What I mean by stock images is the background. Now I'm going to come over to my um, file, then select import. Then basically what we're going to do is come to download, um, basically, all right, here. Okay. So I want to select um, download. 
and uh, okay this is the folder i'm going to select this select this select this select this select this i will select this then basically what i'm going to do is select this one and what i'm going to do now is i want to basically um click and drag click and drag click and drag click and drag and that is what i'm going to have so the next thing I'm going to do is, if you come back to this um, text, you can see these are the informations. But basically, guys, I'm not going to give you all these informations. I'm going to basically give you just these ones here highlighted. But this image will not be included, right? So basically, what we're going to do is, I'm going to bring in this background and scale it up. To get this background, just go to Pinterest or Google and type marble background, right? Marble, marble is spelled M-A-R-B-E-R, right? marble background so basically i'm going to scale this up then you can see the way it is i'll basically come over to my transparency tool fade it out to basically let's say 77 percent is fine i'm going to right click and select edit power clip to place it into this frame this way then right click and select edit power clip then bring it to this part and then scale it up so nothing goes out of frame and this is what you're going to have so basically I'm going to come over to this and um, now in terms of placing your images, right? In terms of placing your images for your design, if you have an image always or a picture, always look at how the the subject is, um, you know, um, positioned, how the person is looking, how the person is, you know, the posture of the person. So that, that determines how you position your image. Now, I cannot actually, some of you will be like, uh, she's facing this way, so why am I bringing it to the left? I'm supposed to bring it here and, uh, you know, put the text here, but it is not correct. It can work, actually, but the best way to place this image is here. Reason because you can see where the hand is. So she's actually looking sideways, not actually looking um, directly to the camera. Like she's not facing the camera direct. So that's why I'm going to place it just here and I believe that's to that. I'm going to right click and select power clip to place it into this frame. Now let's make sure she's not cut out. That is it. All right. So basically this is what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come about to this notepad and um, basically copy this. I'm going to cut this. Okay. Let me copy this. Control C to copy. Then Control V to paste. This way, now I want to bring it over here, zoom out this way, and I'm going to break this text apart. I'm going to break this text apart using, okay, before I break it apart, I'm going to just, instead of breaking it apart, just cut it and place it just right here. So the name of the font I'll be making use of is this, at lane, all right? That's the name of the font. I'm going to put the names for you guys. So we're going to just come here and type at lane. All right, so that is the font. This is the font, guys. This is the font. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just reduce this spacing this way. Then I'm going to use my shape to and drag this this way. Just reduce the spacing instead of the way it was. This is the before. This is the after. This is the before, and this is the after. Now I'm going to just drag this up this way. So once I do that. For this one, I'm going to use Java.com as the font. All right, so let me make this one capital letter this way. The first letter. I'm going to place this one just right here. And I'm going to bring that just right about that. Now, somebody will ask me, why am I using this background? The reason for this background is the color of the day that was given to me is white, um, Kelly, Kelly green. And I think that green. So we're going to use, we're going to come over to this. And uh, so that's why I downloaded this Kelly Green flower. I want to come over to my color eyedropper to pick a color from here. I want to place this color here. All right. And uh, select everything, give it this color. The green. All right. So basically, this is what you're going to have. So if you look at some of the funeral designs I've done, you notice that I always use this um, heavens, newer star. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to place it just right here. I want to change the font to Trajan Pro. 
All right, so basically, I'm going to scale this down this way, scale it down, then make sure it's aligned properly from the margin. Then I'm going to bring this star, then reduce it, bring it over here, give it what? I give it a six star. This is three, this is three, this is five, this is six. All right, so let me just give six star to this person. All right, so that's what we're going to have. Let me just leave that there. And next, we're going to do is we're going to convert this part and uh, copy the name, copy the name, and I'm um, going to just cut this and paste the name there. All right. So we're going to just play around this. So I don't want um, the image to actually overshadow the text or this text overshadowing. It's better we have the image, um, the text being visible than it's competing with the text. Now, to do that, Bring in your rectangle to draw a box just here. Give it a white color. Remove the stroke. Then select your transparency to fade out this edge, right? Then convert it to bitmap. So why am I converting to bitmap? Is because if I don't convert to bitmap, I want to. Anytime you want to fade out multiple edges, more than one. That's what I mean by multiple edges. When you want to feather multiple edges, always convert to bitmap, right? Then select your color mode, RGB, convert to bitmap, then feather this edge. This is the place I want to be. Um, I want to be hidden. So this side should be revealed, right? Then I'm going to just take this one up a bit, take it up a bit, take it up a bit. Then I'm going to right click and select power clip and place it into this frame. Now you can see it's no longer competing with this image. So I'm going to press uh, control K to break it apart. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this one, put the cursor here, then put this cursor here, and I'm going to select control plus K to break it apart again. So I'm going to basically um, drag this over here. So when I do that, I'm going to select my uh, shape to reduce the spacing. I don't like the text having um, so much space. I'm going to drag this one over here. All right, I'm gonna drag this one here, bring this one here. Then the font should be same. This is 38, let's use 38, let's use here 38. Then that is it guys. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring this one down here. All right, taking my margin from this. Now I'm gonna just take this one up a bit. Then for this misses, we're gonna just duplicate the same font we have here, all right. So we're gonna use um Java com over here. All right, so Java com, I'm gonna just scale this up, bring this one down here. Then for this one, I'm gonna just basically um place it just right here. And uh, once I do that, I'm gonna place it here. Then I'm gonna bring in my rectangle to draw a box over here. And give it same red, I'm um, sorry, same color to be this one. All right. Same color, Kelly green. Then make sure you're taking your margin correctly. Make sure it is aligned. So I'm taking my margin from this letter E over here and from this letter E. Now, basically, this is what you're going to have for the name. I want to bring in this flower, just place it here and can double click on it. One, two, and flip that this way. Place that just right here. And now right click the select power clip and place it into this frame. And that is what you're going to have, guys. That is what you are going to have. Then the next thing I'm going to do is cover to this and copy this and paste it. Right click on it and select power clip, place it into this background. This place, same background we copied, just copying it. All right, so this is called, I call it Flora um background so that is if you want to download it just go to pinterest or google type floral background all right so we cannot change the color of this so to do that we're going to just basically go to um bitmap select mode select black and white and um, we can reduce it to just get um a good output then click on ok convert it to bitmap to reduce the weight right okay then basically go to trace bitmap on your property bar and select outline trace line ads and wait for that to load. All right. So basically wait for that to load. 
So while it's loading, you are subscribing. Like I said, while it's loading, you are subscribing. All right, so basically this is what you're going to have. So you can see the before and this is the after. So you can click on OK and um, delete the one you don't want. Then ungroup it. Then basically delete the white particles. All right. Anything white you're seeing here, just delete it. All right, so this is what you're going to have. Now the next thing we're going to do is highlight and select. Bring it over here. Give it this Kelly Green, um, Kelly Green, sorry. Then right click, select power clip, place it into this frame. Then um, what you're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, bring in your text to draw this way. Come over to this, then copy the appreciation. All right, then paste it over here. Then um, the fonts we'll be making use of this is uh, Times New Roman. All right, so make sure it is justified, fully justified. All right, so if you want to fully justify it, just come over to this horizontal alignment, select full justify, and that is it. So I want to basically select and give it um, font 10. All right, so uh, I'm going to use font 10 for this, or let's see, 11. Font 11. I want to select my shape to drag this down a bit. All right. Then we're going to select the this name and bold it. I don't want to be mentioning names though. Uh, then I'm going to give it same um color green. All right. Then I want to just copy this, paste it here, and type appreciation. Appreciation. Then I'm going to just reduce this one. And that is it, guys. So basically, I'm going to just um, bitmap this just as we did earlier. Then come over to this, select black and white. Click on OK, trace bitmap, outline trace, line art. And wait for that to load. And um, boom, guys, this is your before and this is your after. Then click on OK. Now delete the ones you don't want by ungrouping. Delete, delete, delete. I um, um can um group it, bring it just here and give it this Kelly Green color, then place it just right here. Then I'm gonna copy this image. I just want to copy, I just want something to be here. I'm gonna reduce this, right? Bring it just right here. Alright, this time around, we're gonna reduce this to this part, then go to bitmap. Select mode, select grayscale, um, right click, select power clip, place it into this frame, and uh, boom, guys. This is how I designed this funeral um, program or magazine in CorelDRAW. If you have any question, please drop me a comment in the comment section below. This is actually beginners friendly, very easy, and um, it's not actually, uh, it's easy, but it's not cheap, guys. Yes, because to come up with these concepts, they are not easy, all right? It takes a lot of time to come up with something as this. So if you have any question, drop me in the comment section below. I see you guys in my next video.